Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sydney. I film cruelty free beauty videos a lot about shopping your stash, loving on what you love, and when you do make a purchase, making a thoughtful purchase. So today's video is going to be my single shadow inventory. I've never done a single shadow inventory. I did a like regular makeup inventory last year and honestly it was so incredibly tedious, which is why I haven't done one this year yet, but I'm planning on getting to it this week or next week. Um, but I thought today it would be fun to really dive deep into my single shadow collection and dig through and see what I truly have. My single shadow collection has grown a lot over the past two years. In 2017, I think, um, I started growing my single shadow collection. I think I had like 15 eyeshadows at the end of that year. I have a lot more this year, a little spoiler alert. Um, but I thought it would be really fun to kind of divide these up by color. It was so much fun to have all my single shadows spread out before me. Nothing makes me happier than surrounding myself with eyeshadow and covering myself in swatches and that's exactly what I did when I filmed this video. So without further ado, let's hop into it. Oh my goodness, you guys, I feel like I'm about to expose myself and how many broken single shadows I have yet to repress. I just hate repressing. It's not enjoyable for me. I don't, oh, there's a piece of hair. Um, I feel like it never goes well when I try to do it. So I just like put it off and put it off and put it off. But I've got a lot of shadows that need to be repressed. Um, but first of all, I thought that I would just show you guys the amount of uh, singles palettes that we're working with. <laughs> there is quite a few. Um, so to start off, I'm just gonna do like a little speed through clip of me kind of spreading all these out. And then we'll dive into the actual inventory. Alright, so I know you guys can't really see all of my palettes. One day I would love to upgrade to one of those like professional overhead tripods so I can actually have like a legit overhead setup, but this is what we're working with for now and it's kind of a small frame of what you guys can see. You know, actually, I zoomed you guys out just a little bit and I feel like that's better. So, I'm thinking, I was kind of thinking of approaching this a couple of different ways. I was kind of thinking first I would dive into this by shade and then maybe separate separate it by finish but then I was like how am I going to classify like my duochrome shadows and now I'm unsure as to whether or not I want to include those in like like let's say if it's a mostly or predominantly green duochrome like do I include it in the green so I just make a separate duochrome section I'm not really sure so I think I kind of just want to dive in and I'll figure it out as I go I've got my handy dandy rocket book here to record how many shadows I have of each color so let's hop into a little speedy clip of me grabbing all my shadows I think I want to start with let's start with green green is my favorite color Okay, this is going to sound absolutely ridiculous, but this was harder than I thought it would be. I had the count done twice, and then I'm like, a green shadow would catch my eye in one of my palettes, and I was like, wait, no, we gotta add that one. So, in total, I have 42 green single eye shadows, and 25 of those are shimmer, and 19 are matte. Which, honestly, I kind of thought I would have more matte than shimmer, just because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I've reached my green mattes more. Um, also in doing this, I really, I do not need any other like greeny gold shades. I decided to include those in with the greens because I felt like they're more green than gold. <sighs> I have so many of them. I think I have like six just right there that I'm like rough counting. So I do not need any more of those shadows ever again. And I did kind of just decide to throw the duochromes in with whichever shade I felt like they pulled the strongest to. Um, so I've got this one from Davina, that one's also from Davina, JD Glow, uh, Davina again. I just kind of threw them in here because I felt like this is where they belonged. I did decide though that for true multi-chromes, I'm going to put those in a separate category of their own because they're like, I don't know, I just feel like they're different. So. I'm going to move all of these aside. I think I want to film a swatching all my green single eyeshadows video. And if you guys want to see that for any other like color category, definitely let me know. <gasps> I just found another one. Oh my goodness. It's never ending. Okay, I have 43 green single eyeshadows. 26 of them are shimmery. 
Oh my goodness, this is going to be harder than I thought it would be. But if you guys want to see me kind of swatch, this is green too. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess that kind of looks, does that look blue or green on camera? I feel like it's right down the middle. We'll throw it in with the greens. But anyways, I'm going to swatch all of my green single eyeshadows for a video. If there's another category that you guys want to see kind of swatch like that, I'm kind of thinking that I'm temporarily going to put most of my single shadows in like monochromatic palettes maybe not like a whole palette per shadow because i don't have that many shades of certain shades but um you guys know what i mean so if you want to see it for any other shades definitely let me know i would like to do them kind of all at once or <laughs> within like a week of each other so i can like bust my shadows out and rearrange them how i want to but yeah this is where out with the greens let's move them aside and move on to the next shadow category and i think i want to do blue next i feel like i'm doing all the fun colors first I feel like I did better getting all the blue shadows this first time around. Um, so in total, I have 36 blue single eyeshadows. 21 of those are shimmery and 15 of those are matte. I wasn't really surprised by those numbers. I tend to be, I don't know, I feel like I'm just more attracted to blue shimmers than I am to blue mattes. I feel like I'm looking at this and I'm trying to think, like, do I really see any holes in my, like, blue shadow collection? And I feel like I don't really. I feel like maybe I could use like one or two more special blue matte shadows. But like, honestly, I really don't need more eyeshadow. But it was really fun to kind of see these kind of all laid out. So I'm going to put these away. And then let's move on to our next color. Let's do one that I feel like I have less of. Let's do like red. Yeah, let's go with red. I'm going to do like red slash coral. Because I feel like I don't have a lot of straight up red shades. But I do have more like corally shades. Alright guys, this little collection of shadows is much smaller than my blue shadows or my green shadows. Um, in total, I have 10 red shadows. I was a little bit surprised because I feel like, oh, you know, actually, this is a pastel red shadow. So let's throw this one in here. Technically, I have 11. Let me get that done really quick. Um, but I love wearing red eyeshadow, but I feel like I don't have many single red eyeshadows because I feel like it's more spread out in my palette collection so like when I go for singles I try to go for things that are really really unique and red just isn't quite that with me I almost had a thought about halfway through this where I was like you know what let's just combine red and pink but I think I'm gonna have enough to where I can do two separate categories so you know what let's hop into pink next I don't know I can't remember if I told you guys the breakdown um I have seven matte red shadows and four shimmer shadows I didn't really separate them because there's so few um you guys can kind of just see when they're laying out like this but I'm gonna scooch these over, we'll do the pink shadows, and then we will throw both of those in a palette together. Alright you guys, it's time to show you my single shadow of shame. This is Tara Moon's... Oh, I don't remember what this is called. I can't tell because there's eyeshadow all over the back of it. This is one of their pastel mattes. I adore this shadow, but it broke when I moved and I've just been putting off and putting off and putting off fixing it. But I will fix it. I'm putting it on my to-do list week. I'm determined to get it done. Um, but here are all of my pink shadows, you guys. In total, I have 23. 16 of those were shimmer, 7 were matte. I feel like pink eyeshadows are kind of an area of my single shadow collection that I could afford to... Not afford to. Let me rephrase that. There may be some holes in my pink single eyeshadow collection. Um, I'm really interested to, see, interested to see how the purples compare to the pinks because I feel like I like pink eyeshadow more than I like purple eyeshadow, but that's not really... I don't think that's going to be reflected in the content of my single eyeshadow collection. So, yeah. 
I am going to throw the pink and the reds in a palette and then we'll move on to, let's do purple next. I'm really excited to see all my purple shadows laid out here. guys here are all of my gorgeous purple shadows i feel like this is probably the most diverse color like category that i have because i feel like i have like a very wide range of like some like more plummy like warmer purples like these two to some like very very cool tone almost leaning blue purples and some like very like mauvey purples um i'm really not surprised oh you know i just found another one <laughs> there's a pastel purple i've got 43 not 42 um but i just i have a thing for purple eyeshadow you guys i've got a couple of like purpley multi-chromes that i'm going to just include in the multi-chrome collection because there's just a lot of different shifts happening i also am not including i don't know if you guys can see oh there's some blushes and highlighters strewn throughout here that i also decided not to include but i i love purple eyeshadow you guys i feel like i'm looking at this and i have such a pretty range of purples um i do feel like there's like some teeny tiny holes in my purple collection i would really really love like a matte like vibrant purple i feel like all the matte purples the matte deep purples that i have are very like like warm in tone almost i almost want like this shade right here i think this is from sydney grace it's called flannel i want this shadow in like a matte and then i feel like my purple collection would probably be complete so i'm gonna put these in the palette and then we can move on to our next shadow category what should we do? I feel like it's almost time for neutrals. Let's do neutrals next and then we can kind of see what we have left color wise. Alright guys, so I decided neutrals as a whole was a little bit too broad. So I started in with my kind of like orangey neutrals i know this is not a neutral by any means but i feel like maybe it should have gone in with my reds and corals but i just threw it in here we're gonna make it work so in total i have 16 orangey neutral shadows um four of which are shimmer the rest are matte and i'm kind of surprised by this but also not because i tend to stay away from neutral single shadows even though i feel like that does leave a bit of a hole in my single shadow collection especially when i'm trying to dupe a palette or i'm just trying to build a palette from scratch sometimes i can find those shades lacking and i just i just have a lot of neutral palettes so like when i buy singles it's not what i go for so yeah this is what i'm working with now um next i'm going to grab some what other kind of neutrals can i grab i feel like i just have a lot of like straight up neutral shadows beyond this so I guess I'm going to grab, you know what, I'm going to grab yellows next because I feel like I've got some yellows mixed in with my neutrals that are like, could be gold, could be yellow. So, um, so let's grab those next. Alright guys, so as you can tell, we kind of have three little piles. These ones I grabbed because I feel like they're more like yellowy neutral, so I think I'm going to save those for my more neutral pile. Um, and I feel like these are like the true yellows of my collection. So, I don't have very many. I wasn't really surprised by that. I like to use yellow, but it's not like my favorite color in the world. I feel like maybe I could use one or two more yellow mattes because that one is a total dud. I kind of just want to chuck that one. Um, this one's very temperamental, as is this one, so I feel like maybe I can do some yellow mattes, but otherwise, I've been pretty satisfied with my yellow collection. I have 11 yellow shadows in total, 6 of which are shimmer, 5 of which are matte, and I'm very happy with that. So, at this point, I think I'm going to grab all of my so-called neutrals, <laughs> and I feel like I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to realize that half of these are not, like, actually neutral. So... Let's grab those and then we'll kind of assess the situation. All 
All right, guys, here are all of my neutral shadows. Now, I feel like I'm looking at this now and I'm like, hmm, maybe I could have classified those as like purple or pink or maybe the greens. But at this point, I don't want to resort or rearrange all the palettes that I've already created because, as I said at the beginning of this video, I've kind of started color coordinating. You can kind of see right here the orange one and the purple one right there. So, as far as I'm concerned, these are neutrals. So I have a total of 55 neutral singles. A lot of these are from Depotted palettes. As I said, I don't buy a ton of neutral singles, but I definitely have more than I thought I did. I feel like I have so many repeats, especially in the mattes. Actually, the shimmers too. I've got a lot of that like coppery pinky shade. Apparently, I'm really into that shade, but I do not need to purchase any more of them. Um, yeah, but this was really, really interesting, really fun. I think the only category we have left is multi-chromes. So excited about this one. I am 110% doing a video swatching all my multi-chromes in my collection. I think that would be so much fun for me as well as you guys. So I'm going to put these away and then we'll get out the fun shadows. Alright you guys, I have 20 multi-chromes in total. I didn't really break them down into specific categories beyond just like, these are what I have. Um, but I will definitely do that if you guys want to see a swatching on my multi-chromes video. I am so excited to do that. If I had more time to film today, I think I would do that because I think it would be so, so much fun. But this is the total of my eyeshadow collection i'm going to put these into a palette um, and then i'll try to give you guys like a super satisfying like overview of like all my palettes filled color coordinated i cannot believe how much space i have in my palettes now i had well i bought an adept palette um over black friday and so i filled up that palette and now i have so much freedom in like my smaller palettes and i'm so excited about it so i'm gonna stop blabbering on let's hop into that super satisfying overview clip of all the palettes. Alright you guys, here we have it. All the eyeshadow. Oh, this is so satisfying. I'm pretty sure I'm going to create like a Valentine's Day theme palette after I film finish filming this video, but I kind of don't want to because like I don't want to mess this up yet. Okay you guys, so I think that's going to wrap up today's video. I realized that I did not give you guys a grand total for how many single eyeshadows I had in my collection. Oof, you guys, I have 257 single eyeshadows. That is so, so many. I will say though that I feel very much like complete in my single eyeshadow collection. As you guys probably saw throughout the video, there were only a couple of shades here and there in each color category that I felt like I really just needed a few more of to really round up my collection and make it perfect. But I had so much fun filming this video, you guys. As I said, if there are any other single shadow videos you have requests for, definitely let me know. I am on such a single shadow kick right now. I'm just loving digging into my shadows, creating little palettes. Um, actually, with the look I have on my eyes today, I created a custom Valentine's Day palette. That video won't be up for like maybe another week and a half or so, but here's a little sneak peek. So subscribe and stay tuned for that. But I feel like I've blabbered on long enough today. I know this was a long video, so thank you guys so much for sticking around and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.